In this video, I'll show you step by step how to draw watercolor eucalyptus leaves in under 10 minutes. I'll use my effortless watercolor brushes for this video, and you can find them in the description down below. You can also download the color palette and the sketch that I used, as well as my reference image for free. Let's get started. Use the watercolor paper brush from my effortless watercolor brush set to cover the entire canvas without lifting your pencil. Make sure this layer stays on the very top and set it to multiply. Before painting, we need a sketch. The color and brush don't matter here. And if you're not comfortable making your own sketch yet, you can simply use mine. I made sure to remove the background so you can use it directly in your painting. Download link is in the description. Next, we need to fill in the watercolor. I always use either sharp, soft, or fuzzy edge from my effortless watercolor brush set for this step, depending on the look I want. And all these brushes have a realistic watercolor texture built in and they don't leave awkward overlapping strokes as long as you don't lift your pencil while painting. Next step would be to add more colors to make the painting look more interesting. And don't worry about the overlapping brush strokes right now because we can blend that easily later on. The next step is a crucial one that is blending. My effortless watercolor brush set comes with a blender and you need to make sure to use the smudging tool and select the blender and just tap gently to make any area smooth. Now that we've got the base color done, it's looking a bit flat because there's no <laughs> other color. Let's just keep adding some colors to it until we're satisfied. While I'm finishing this step, I have a quick announcement to make. I'll select three random people to give away this appropriate brush set that I'm using right now for this video. To join the giveaway, all you need to do is to like the video, subscribe to my channel with the notification bell turned on, and comment what is your favorite color. Now let's add some highlights using a lighter color. Finally, let's add some more watercolor texture. There are two reasons to do so. One, we lost some precious watercolor texture while blending, and now is the perfect time to restore some. And the second reason is that digital painting may look too perfect and less interesting because of it. We don't get those accidental water blooms and other fun stuff, right? So I designed a bunch of texture stamps so that we can add them later on. Just choose any texture stamp you like and add it on a separate layer. And then pl play with the blending mode until it looks good. I hope you have enjoyed painting this piece along with me. And don't forget, you can find all brushes, color swatches, sketch, and reference image just by clicking the links in the description. I have a lot of other Procreate videos on my channel, and I add to it frequently. Like and subscribe for more.